Hey there. I uh, saw you sitting there all alone, and I thought you could use some company. Cory and Aspen have gone to bed already, so it's just you and me left. I saw you up there from the campsite. You look like a monster all curled up under your blanket. Anyway, care for some company. There we go. All seated. How long have you been here all alone? That long? And you kept the fire going all by yourself? I'm uh, actually feeling a bit bad for not showing up earlier now. I know, I know, I shouldn't feel bad. I'm just glad I saw you while doing the dishes before bed. Have you ever looked down from the toilet blocks at night? Seeing all the campfires next to the river is an experience. It's beautiful, like fireflies dancing in the distance. I brought a thermos full of soup if you'd want some. Excellent. I've grabbed some mugs as well. I uh, thought that that would be better than just pouring the soup into your hands. Cheers. It's chicken. Just three instant soup packets in a thermos, so nothing too fancy. But it's nice and salty and warming. It is getting a bit chilly at night, isn't it? You'd think that it would stay hot, but maybe because we're near a river? Yeah, I don't know either, to be honest. The castle we went to today was beautiful, wasn't it? It was definitely worth the walk. Cory parked the car in the middle of... What was the town called again? Ah, right, right. I really liked the walk up through the center. All of the medieval architecture was amazing to walk through. I think there was some form of festival as well. You had all of those market stalls, and there were reenactors in one of the town squares we walked past. I think that was a thing for kids, but part of me wishes we could have stayed and watched for a while. You think it's a tourist season thing? That's a good point, actually. Now that you mention it, I think all of the stalls were selling souvenirs and stuff like that. Hmm. I still enjoy the liveliness it brought to the town, though. The castle itself, on the other hand. What a view! They did really well with the reenactors on the castle tour. I really feel like I got a taste of medieval life there. The woman making the cheese was funny. I think she was the only one that the tour guide didn't have to translate. She spoke English really well. Yeah. She explained what she was doing in a really funny way. I think the other people made jokes too, but I couldn't understand them. The trebuchet was really cool too. I never realized how big those things were in real life. The tour guide explained how one worked so well. I never knew they shot dead cows over castle walls during a siege. What did the guy say about that again? Here comes Bessie? I think that was the only joke he made, probably because he didn't have to translate for someone else. You know, it sounds like a really tough job to translate life. I wouldn't be able to do it either. You know it's difficult enough to speak normally for me sometimes, let alone listen to a different language, understand it, translate it, and then speak a second language all at the same time. Hey, are you looking forward to tomorrow? Me too, me too. I can't wait to go visit that village we talked about earlier today. I think it was Aspen's idea to go. I know they love the kind of museum they have there. It's a history museum, of course. Apparently the village has a Roman history. Should be loads of nice buildings around too, so I reckon we'd be doing some exploring as well. I'm really excited for it as well. 
having Aspen go all childlike with excitement the moment they realize this museum was close by is infectious. They want to go, and now I want to go as well. Oh, I'll always have a good time. I'm here with three of my best friends. I'm here with you. And Aspen and Cory, of course. Yeah, I booked the kayaking for next Thursday at the reception this morning. I brought up the idea, so I better take the responsibility to make it happen. You know I'm not the athletic kind, but I always did it with my family when I went on vacation to France with them. It just felt weird to be here, close to a river, and not go kayaking at least once. The campsite organizes the trips themselves, so they end them right here on this beach. Saves us driving back here at the end, too. I remember having to sit in a hot car for 30 minutes, all tired out and wet as a kid. I don't think anyone in my family liked that part. <laughs> you're right, you're right. That's 15 years ago by now. <laughs> no need to relive the experience. Have you thought of something to do already? Well, everyone else already suggested an activity. Aspen had the castle and the museum. I have the canoeing. Cory wanted to go to that large farmer's market. There's only a week left before we go back home, and I wouldn't want you to be left out. You'll think about it? I'm looking forward to your choice. So, we've been friends for a long time, right? I remember us all meeting on our first day of university. We got put in the same group for the introduction activities, and from that point onward, we never really had a week without each other. So, like, I've known you guys for years. I was thinking we always have been together as a group, the four of us. I think this is the first time that just the two of us are together on our own in months. Well, uh, I was maybe thinking that, um, fine. Fine, I'll spit it out. I was thinking we should hang out more often. Just the two of us. I mean, once we are, like, back home, we should grab a coffee together or something. If you'd be interested. I mean, dating. Yeah, dating. Why are you looking at me with that kind of smirk on your face? Oh. Oh, I see. I have been hesitating to ask you out for months, if not a full year. Don't tell me you've been waiting. Since last year? We could have started dating a year ago. Oh, well, now I feel really silly for not having asked earlier. So, care to make up for last time? <laughs> I've been waiting to do that for a while now. I want to share the blanket. It's getting a bit chilly, and I think two people together warm up better than one. Much better. You know, it's nice being this close to you after all this time.
I wish this moment would last forever. Oh, the music. That is the campfire next to us, I think. <sighs> you know, the music only makes this night more perfect.